Hello, and welcome to AWS Storage Day 2021. I'm Wayne Dusso, Vice President of Storage, Edge, and Data Governance Services for AWS. I'm grateful that you've joined us today for this keynote and out in leadership interviews and deep dive sessions throughout the day. Today, I want to share how partnering with AWS empowers you to be leaders in, for your customers and businesses to help further simplify your journey with AWS and build solutions that lead and serve your customers and company. Now, over the last 18 months, there's been a lot of challenges and changes for many, for our customers, for our clients, for our partners, and our people. You've all needed to build on what we had prior to the pandemic, and in doing so, be creative, inventive, and agile. We've needed to also focus on delivering value at the most cost-effective, cost-optimized way. You've been super creative and inspiring during this time, and we've seen you apply the agility of cloud computing with its cost benefits. Many of you have accelerated greater value through this complementary relationship. With agility accelerating your business and cost optimization fueling greater value, creating a flywheel effect over the long run. Our intention is to help you build leadership using the agility and cost effectiveness of the cloud to accelerate your business. With AWS offerings, you can accelerate time to value for your customers and business. And today, I want to discuss two paths that you can take on your business and for your business and customer needs. AWS is here to partner with you in moving, modernizing, or building net new solutions in the shortest possible time, delivering value quickly along all possible paths. For those of you who want to move workloads to AWS, we can help you confidently move from on-premise to AWS without the need to change your applications or processes. And once on AWS, will help you modernize your applications and data management using all we have to offer, including architecting for containers and serverless computing, and in doing so, helping you become more agile and cost-effective at the scale you need when you need it. AWS also provides the broadest and deepest set of capabilities to build net new value for your customers and business at any scale. Now at the heart of most applications is its data. And today, all businesses are data businesses. One of the most important decisions you'll make as a business leader is how you store, protect, audit, and manage your data. AWS provides the most complete set of storage services covering object, block, file, hybrid and edge capabilities, data movement services, and data protection and workflow services. With these services, we help you build secure, compliant, auditable, and managed data estates. Our offerings provide you the most secure, durable, performant storage at the lowest TCO. And they are built to work with AWS services and easily integrate with your on-premise hybrid and edge-based applications and we are just getting started with a continuous set of customer-inspired innovations, including the set we're launched today. Now, I'm very pleased to announce our deepening collaboration with NetApp and the introduction of Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP, available later today. Today, many businesses store data in on-premise NetApp file systems powered by ONTAP. They rely on its rich APIs, multi-protocol access, and data management features. Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP provides the first fully managed, full-featured NetApp ONTAP file system in the cloud. This is a full-featured offering with complete APIs and data management features, including the full array of Snap and Flex features. Now you can enjoy the full NetApp experience 
with the elasticity, scalability, reliability, availability, and security of the AWS cloud. With FSx ONTAP, you can move NetApp-based data sets to AWS with no change to your applications, administration, or operating processes. FSx ONTAP will help you quickly migrate workloads to the cloud, establish business continuity and disaster recovery capabilities in the cloud, and enable hybrid workloads, all with the confidence of having like for like capabilities both on-premise and in AWS. You give up nothing. You know or use today with NetApp ONTAP on-premise. And moving your workloads to FSx ONTAP is just getting started. Once you're on AWS, you can begin to immediately drive additional value from your data through the many AWS service integrations with the FSx family of file systems. With FSx ONTAP, AWS is partnering with Accenture, helping accelerate large-scale enterprise-wide migrations with their clients with greatly reduced risk to plans and business goals. We have been able to provide best-in-class NAS performance at price points lower than they've ever seen before. Now, as with NAS, many of you have also built businesses around on-premise SAN architectures. And a few weeks ago, we announced the GA launch of EBS IO2 Block Express, the first SAN in the cloud with performance, reliability, and price points your enterprise applications and database workloads require, helping you move your SAN-based workloads to the cloud even faster than before. Our SAN in the cloud delivers 256,000 IOPS and four gigabytes of throughput on a single volume at millisecond latencies. Today, we're also announcing that we've expanded our EBS Direct API snapshot feature, supporting 64 terabytes, our largest size EBS IO2 Block Express volume. This enables you to take snapshots of the largest EBS volumes as well as equally large on-premise SAN volumes. And this provides you with the ability to move your on-premise databases, enterprise application volumes to AWS and restore them to EBS IO2 Block Express volumes simply and quickly. Now Acoustic.com is a digital marketing solutions company innovating with EBS to enable their customers to connect their clients through personalized campaigns. Since migrating their application to our SAN in the cloud offering, they've been able to meet their goals of more than three gigabytes of throughput to support the needs during peak periods of utilization, a reduced licensing costs because their application now runs faster on fewer resources. Now, we've talked about making you more agile, cost effective, and we've demonstrated ways the vast majority of applications using NAS and SAN can quickly and cost effectively use AWS file and block storage. Now let's talk about data protection. We're furthering how you can lead your organizations and customers in protecting data in the cloud using our AWS backup service. Last week at the AWS Reinforced Conference keynote, our CISO, Stephen Smith, shared our vision for AWS as the secure privacy and governance centric cloud. With AWS backup, you can rest assured that when moving to or building applications at AWS, including regulated workloads, that they can be protected, monitored, and continuously evaluated for their security and compliance posture. And with the acceleration of randomware activity, working backups are the last line of defense in, in our customers' defense in-depth strategy. To ensure you're ready to respond to a randomware attack, working backups are essential. And in in la in last week, we launched AWS Backup Audit Manager to help customers continuously and automatically ensure that their backups are taken, managed, and remain tamper-proof. So please, if you haven't yet turned on AWS Backup for your cloud data, I encourage you to do so today. It's simple, automatic, and with AWS Backup Audit Manager, it will help you ensure you are compliantly protecting your data. 
Now, operational resiliency is table stakes, and we aim to provide you with the tools needed to build operational resiliency into your applications and global business IT infrastructure. Up until today, S3 buckets were seen by clients as region-based, with clients and applications connecting to a bucket in a single AWS region. You've asked us to allow requests to S3 to operate across AWS regions for several use cases, including content delivery across multiple AWS region, region, regions to increase application availability to tolerate inactivity, any connectivity issues to an S3 bucket in a single AWS region and to improve request performance across AWS regions. Today, I'm excited to announce Amazon S3 multi-region access points. This feature gives you greater global IT resiliency without the need to modify your application, and it increases performance by up to 60% when accessing data sets that are replicated across multiple AWS regions. This is based on AWS Global Accelerator. S3 multi-region access points considers factors like network congestion and the location of the requesting application to dynamically route your requests over the AWS network to the lowest latency copy of your data. As with multi-region access points, many of you have asked us to help simplify application logic for your managed file transfer workloads. Many of you are familiar with AWS Transfer Family, our service that provides fully managed file transfer experience using industry standard protocols for file transfer based applications and workflows. You've told us <clears throat> that file transfer based workloads could benefit from common data processing capabilities such as security and compliance checks before files are used downstream in production applications. Now pre-processing large numbers of files for many business to business partners can be very time consuming and error prone or rely on very complicated custom code. So today I'm excited to announce AWS Transfer Family Managed Workflows, a new capability that reduces the heavy lifting and error prone tasks of manually pre-processing data. Managed Workflows allows you to easily create automated routines that trigger actions based on file uploads, such as tagging or copying files, or applying a variety of custom processing steps based on your specific needs. AWS Transfer Family's Managed Workflows provides you with a low code way to create these powerful automations, easily manage these tasks before file data is sent downstream to your workflow applications. So now that we've covered a number of launches focused on agility and you're accelerating your ability to move and modernize your applications and data states, let's talk about cost optimization. We've listened to our customers when they told us data access patterns change sometimes unknowingly or unpredictably. To help you cost optimize the most appropriate, the most appropriate storage class, nearly three years ago we launched S3 Intelligent Tiering. Customers tell us that they've received great value from S3 Intelligent Tiering. It automatically delivers them the right balance of performance and cost. That said, there's always room to improve, to innovate, to make using S3 Intelligent Tiering even simpler. So today, we're introducing enhancements to S3 Intelligent Tiering to further optimize storage costs for small and short-lived objects by removing the minimum duration for all objects and removing object monitoring and automation fees for objects smaller than 128 kilobytes. These changes make S3 Intelligent Tiering the ideal storage class for any data with unknown or changing access patterns, including short-lived data or data sets with small objects. This means you can use S3 Intelligent Tiering for all objects without any caveats, making it easier than ever for customers to optimize their storage costs. Now, S3 Intelligent Tiering has delivered great value to our customers, and we've heard you say that you would love similar value on our Elastic File System 2. So I'm excited to share with you today that we're introducing Amazon EFS Intelligent Tiering. This new capability makes it easier for you to optimize costs 
for shared file storage even when access patterns change or are unknown. It uses EFS lifecycle management to automatically cost optimize based on file access patterns. EFS intelligent tiering is designed to help achieve the right price performance blend for your application file data by placing your file data in the storage class based on file access patterns. This new capability balances performance and cost and eliminates previous concerns you shared with us around potential high access charges. One of the customers that helped us, share, uh, helped us shape this new feature is Capital One. Capital One is already all in on AWS, and Capital One partnered with us discussing in depth how together we could further cost optimize their workloads using EFS. With this launch, EFS Intelligent Tiering will help Cap One cost optimize one of their heaviest analytic workloads on day one, as well as helping them do the same for the rest of their file-based workloads. Now Capital One doesn't have to predict the unknown in terms of data access patterns. If you would, they don't have to know what's in their file data. I'm really proud of the teams who launched the features we covered here today, and I'm excited to see how you'll use them to build leadership into your solutions, organization, and business. AWS is continuously learning from you and working to innovate, build, and deliver on your behalf. Today, we've discussed how these storage day launches help you confidently move from on-premise to AWS cloud and help you modernize, build net new applications faster, speeding your time to value. AWS accelerates, simplify, and de-risk your journey to the cloud. We will continue to do so as you evolve your solutions and business alongside us. We're here to help you explore the paths that are right for you. AWS is intentional about building leadership services and solutions for our customers. You are the leaders in your industry and organizations and the champions of your customers. My intention today was to share how partnering with AWS empowers you to be leaders for your customers and your businesses to further help you simplify your journey with AWS as we build solutions that lead and serve your customers and company. I hope you can take these learnings and apply them to your businesses today.